you this question because you're not cool enough. But legacy of the only man to hold championships in the NCAA, WWE, IWGP in Japan, and the UFC. Here we go, fellas. I've been looking forward to this one for Ouch. quite some time. Damn, what a slam. A high-risk maneuver that works from that top turnbuckle. Missile drop kick finds its mark. <laughs> In matches like this, guys, you learn very quickly which superstars have what it takes to truly get extreme. Big suplex. We've seen it on so many occasions, Corey, a superstar has the match won and all they have to do is pin their opponent. Or a submission is locked in and the person is fractions of a second away from tapping out and that's when it hits. The third participant in the match comes in to break things up and launch an attack on their own. There is no time to spare in a triple threat match. Just when a superstar thinks the match is theirs for the taking and they're moments away from victory, the rug is yanked out from under them with no warning. That's why in a triple threat, a competitor must move carefully and swiftly, or it could cost them the match. When I look at Brock Lesnar, guys, even all these, he's going for the pin. And Elias avoids the early pin. Still in it. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Cruz appearing uneasy here. He came into this match oh, expecting man. a fight, and that's exactly what he's getting. Lesnar did indeed end the dead man's WrestleMania undefeated streak, as Michael was saying. It was perhaps the most shocking event in WrestleMania history. Over 75,000 fans in attendance, all shocked in silence. Well, get over it, Saxton, because all good things must come to an end eventually, and Brock Lesnar is an expert at making things end. Elias reverses it. Guys, can we take a second? To appreciate the rising we've seen from Elias since he joined Monday Night Raw. Pretty good at NXT, but within months he's been earning main event matches and beating some of WWE's top veterans. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh, the reversal by Apollo Crews. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Set him up. Michael excitedly pointed out Elias' resume, and I actually agree. He earned a spot in the Elimination Chamber, lasted almost a half hour in the Royal Rumble, and even competed in Mixed Match Challenge. The other guy also earned victories over the likes of Dean Ambrose, Finn Balor, Bobby Roode, even John Cena. So as much as his music stinks, he's doing something right in the ring. Look out! Raw 25 is a night where we saw many legends celebrate a quarter century of Monday Night Raw, and Elias had a pretty legendary night interacting with Chris Jericho, John Cena, and Jimmy Fallon. Michael mentioned Elias at Raw 25. And here's a cover. Apollo unleashing an all-out assault. You're not going to win any matches that easily. Yeah, this early, no chance. Here's
Here's the cover. He got body on body there, but that's about it. Not yet. Oh, boy, he is rolling. A superstar always needs another power bomb. He's back in control. He goes for the cover. Two, three. Yes! Unreal performance. A lot of action in that match. Let's have a look. These superstars didn't exactly set the world on fire.